When I recently did a vlog about the X5650, I was surprised. It was met with a lot of positive feedback in the comments and people said I wanna see more vlogs like this. So today I'm gonna to be testing some uh, RAM with seven different kinds of spray paint sprayed on it to see if spray paint affects circuitry and does it short circuit your computer components. That's one thing I'm gonna be testing. And if that does indeed succeed, then I'm gonna be spraying some oil-based lubricant on the actual PC and seeing if that short circuits it as well, because it's something I wanna know, these two things. Anyway, let's get on with the vlog. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the rigs that I recently built in my $500 workstation build guide. This is the cheaper of the two. This was the $100 rig, and unfortunately it doesn't function properly in that four of the RAM slots are actually um, faulty and that they don't register the RAM in Windows. Though the first two slots do register the RAM, and so I can put like four gigabytes of memory in there, though even at those speeds, it kind of, the performance really sucks. So I figured with this PC, I should just, I'm going to do some testing that, you know, if it doesn't work, then I've got nothing to lose kind of thing. So I wanted one thing I wanted to note is spray paint or can it short circuit um, your circuitry? And so what I've done with this memory of us sprayed on seven different kinds of spray paint. Uh, so on the right, we got like white, gold, silver, pink, black, and white. And I've just sprayed it all on, made sure I've got it on the circuits there. And so I'm just gonna put this memory in, see if the computer boots up. So let's, let's have a look. So we've got the memory installed there. The spray paint memory is here in the first channel and the, we just got another memory slot in there just to give it two gigabytes of memory so it doesn't take two years to boot. But anyway, let's, uh, let's fire that up and see if the uh, spray paint memory works with a nice rainbow blend of spray paint on there. <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, do we have a signal? Okay, we don't have a signal. Um, there's no signal. So, I mean, nothing's like, nothing's frying at the moment. Like, nothing's frying, so there's no sparks or anything like that. But, it, we're not getting a signal at all. So, let's just switch, or just take the spray paint memory out, and uh, see if it boots, and we get a signal taken out the rainbow so here's the rainbow here we've taken that out and we're just going to try and boot up the PC this time let's see if we get a signal this time oh well okay there's some kind of a different noise cracking this up oh, we we, <laughs> we have a signal okay <laughs> this rainbow warrior does not work that's confirmed so um, I guess that answers that question. That's the first question I wanted to know. Does uh, spray painted circuits, um, well, can you spray paint circuitry? And the answer is no. I mean, mind you, I did use seven different kinds of spray paint. So I mean, one of these might work, but I'm not gonna risk or try my luck. But the good thing was it didn't like, it didn't fry anything. Like it didn't short circuit anything. So we're just gonna try and spray some CRC now on this rig. Like, uh, let's just do this while, <laughs> let's just do this while we have a signal here. So let's just, we've got the signal. So we're just going to grab some of this. This is the uh, CRC556. So let's just spray a bit on here. Okay. So there's the CRC556 lubricant that has been applied. Nothing's frying. We'll just try and reboot the computer just to see if it's all functioning normally. God, like, yeah, it's, dri <laughs> it's dripping. Like, it's dripping off the heat sink. Woo! Let's just go. Let's just reset it. Okay. Okay, well, do we, are we getting a signal? So we've pretty much caked the uh, oil-based lubricant on, and it's booting fine, it's it's fine. So yeah, I mean, I thought the oil-based lubricant wouldn't do, you know, it's not conductive anyway, so that's not a problem. I just needed to know that, because when I clean up my computer, I like to clean it up with this stuff. And so, yeah, it's good to know that I don't have any, anything to worry about there. I mean, we'll just try and just quickly spray it in the RAM slots there. 
Yeah, okay, nothing's happening. So that's pretty cool. So I answered two questions that I really wanted to know. So we'll just go to a quick conclusion. Okay, so in conclusion, sorry, I had to put on a mask because it stinks in this room. Um, so in conclusion, uh, don't spray, pa uh, spray paint on your circuitry. As we saw there, the RAM stick is now pretty much bricked. Though one good thing was that it didn't um, like short, like fry anything. So I guess spray paint has a capacitive effect rather than a conductive effect on your hardware. If I believe that should be the case. Uh, but this stuff here, like you can spray CRC556 on your hardware to clean it up and that won't have any effect at all. I mean, I caked it on as you guys saw and it didn't do anything. Like the computer was still running perfectly fine. So uh, let's conduct some more experiments on a um, $100 cheapy so anyway guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about uh, anything we did in this vlog today then please drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll catch you in another tech video soon bye this is the part that really shocked me because the most expensive pair of glasses did not perform that well at all and this is coming from a company that's called jins in japan they're a very reputable company and these were pretty much like these are almost 50 dollars so expensive but they were inferior to the